Title VII of the Civil Rights Act prohibits employment discrimination on the basis of race. In United Steel Workers of America v. Weber, the United States Supreme Court considered what this meant for affirmative action programs intended to combat historical racial discrimination. In 1974, Kaiser Aluminum and United Steel Workers of America entered into a collective bargaining agreement that contained an affirmative action plan intended to eliminate racial imbalances in the craft workforces. Each plant was given the goal of hiring black craft workers in proportion to the percentage of black people in the local labor force. The agreement created on-the-job training programs to teach unskilled production workers the skills they'd need to be craft workers. It reserved 50% of the openings in these programs for black workers. Until 1974, the Kaiser plant in Gramercy, Louisiana, had hired only people with previous craft experience as craft workers. Black people had been excluded from craft unions. Although the workforce was 39% black, less than 2% of craft workers were black. The plant gave seven of its training programs 13 spots to black workers. Some of the chosen black workers had less seniority than white workers who were rejected. One of the rejected white workers, Brian Weber, initiated a class action lawsuit in federal district court. The district court held that the affirmative action program discriminated against white workers in violation of Title VII. The United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit affirmed, holding that all employment preferences based on race violated Title VII's prohibition against racial discrimination in employment. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.